Hi guys, Jace here. Today I'm going to show you how to buy cheaper components from companies such as SRAM and Shimano. Stay tuned to see how much I saved and how much I could have saved by doing things differently. First of all, I will say to use your local bike shop where possible. At least give them a chance to beat match or get close to whatever you're buying because they do need our support and they can't thrive without us. Having said that, some things are prohibitively expensive. Before we go on, if you like the content, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up. Now let's get to it. Have you ever tried to upgrade items for your bike and thought, wow, that is prohibitively expensive? That's exactly what I did when I wanted to upgrade my bike's cassette from a 1050 to a 1052 rainbow. Yes, I know it's extravagant, but it is my passion. And so I like to spend a little bit more money within reason. In New Zealand, the cassette was normally around $970. Yes, you heard right, $970 for a cassette. Anyway, I did find the cheapest price at Burke's and uh, $939. So that is the benchmark we'll go for. Now, after scouring the internet, I did find a cheaper cassette at R2 Bikes, which is a company based in Germany for 292 euros and two. But I got the dreaded, bah, bah, due to legal reasons, we cannot ship to your country. Now, this doesn't happen to everything, but it does for SRAM and Shimano. And I have bought other items such as tires from that site and another site in the past without any problem. Then I remembered an alternative, you shop with New Zealand Post. Now, what you do is sign up for account through New Zealand Post. They will then give you an address in the UK or the States to send your item. You shop will then add you on the shipping and send it to your home. Easy and straightforward, but is it? So I decided to experiment and hopefully you benefit from me doing so. I ordered the item from R2 Bikes and it got dispatched from Germany uh, on the 9th of November. And the total I paid included shipping for it was 511 52 New Zealand dollars. Not bad, nearly half price saving. The item arrived in the UK and I did get a surprise when New Zealand Post contacted me on the 24th of November to say that the parcel had arrived in customs and I had to pay customs and duty and you know handling fees of $141.85. I had now paid $653.36 so far, still a substantial saving. I then received an email from U-Shop on the 1st of December to say they had the parcel, I had to pay their postage and tax, and then they will send it to my home. So what I did, you have to go online and then you have to download your invoice and provide them with the address that you want it to get it sent it to and pay the fee. This was another $173 in the end. And so in total, I had paid $826.66, a saving of $112.34. So not a bad saving at all. And it will help save my old back from hurting up those steep hills. Now, what I should have done differently, and I didn't know that at the time, was buy the product item in the UK. So scour the internet, see what you can find cheaper, and then get it sent to the UK distribution center, the address. Then you wouldn't have to pay that import tax into the UK, and then it will get sent back to you. Now this will have the double benefit of you saving money and also it being quicker. So if I'd done that, it would have totaled about $650, which is a saving at $289, which is pretty good in my book. The item did arrive on the 8th of December. Here we go. And yes, it is a nice bit of bling and I'm very happy I got the saving. So is it worth it? Well, 
yes, if you don't mind waiting that little bit longer. So it took four weeks and bearing in mind it had to go through customs in the UK, which probably added a whole week on. And I would have saved, if I'd done it correctly, nearly $300, which is about a third of the price. Be aware though, if the item contains some batteries, it will have to actually go on a ship and get shipped over and that will take quite a bit longer. Now, I hope you found that useful. Please let me know if you've done anything differently or if you've got items cheaper. Let me know in the comments below to share it amongst everyone so hopefully we can get cheaper products. But as I said, don't forget to support your local bike shop. Please subscribe. See you again soon.